So I know AC is on and I know AC, one of the things that she really wanted to hear about was the planner and how to use it. Because I don't know if she started using it as yet. And I know she mightn't be able to reply as yet because she said she's on the road. But she said she had the planner. This was on Sunday. and But she hadn't started using it as yet. So I don't know if she has started by now, but we're going to get into that aspect as well. And if she is able to chat when we get to the end, I will let her ask any questions that she has. So a little bit about the design process. What was that like? How long did it take? And what were the steps? And did you, did Cassia kind of ask you, you know, what you envisioned? And then she gave you several options. What was that process like? Yeah, well, it all starts um, with the idea, um, you know, what I wanted. I told her, you know, I, I gave her the idea. Now, I don't have a design background, and that's where I think projects, you know, that you try to take on that you are not skilled in, <laughs> um, that's where they fail, right? So I said, I, I don't have a design background, Cassia does. So she sent me, you know, a list of questions, um, you know, to really get an idea of exactly what it is I wanted, um, the feel that I wanted, you know, to get from the audience and, you know, ultimately the colors and how I wanted it to look. She took that and we brainstormed the elements. So each piece that you see here is a different element, right? Even the the um, writing, you know, and the design. So we put all of that together. It took us about a month and a half to come to um, a final, you know, um, layout. Um, even the pages that are in here, we had to go through each different page, like what I wanted on this page. So I was a main person that, like everything that you see here is what I thought of and also what Cassia suggested from her experience. So we had, after we had that big brainstorming, we had to go back to each single page and say, okay, what is going here? What effect do we want here? How is this gonna serve the, the, the user, right? So that's what we did for each page. Um, this is, this page is where we, list our personal goals. Um, I would say do not try to dive into doing everything at once. Um, you know, we take it by quarter. So each quarter um, I have where you list your main goals for each quarter. So we, for this page, we will start with quarter one. What would be your main goals for this quarter? And you list that there. From there, you would be able to break it back down now into your months and, you know, into your weeks, right? Um, if you read the book, um, The One Thing, um, it will show you that all of this that we do, right? All that you do, all that, um, you know, um, AC does, it's for one main thing in mind, right? And that is to be um, successful in your business and to ultimately affect others. So what is the one thing that when we do all of this, it's going to achieve, right? So we have our big five-year one thing. Okay, so then what do I do this year to reach that big five-year one thing? And then we go to say, what do I do this month to reach that one-year thing? Okay, and then now what do I do this week to reach that one-month thing? And you could even further break it down to, okay, what can I do today to achieve my weekly goal? So you see it's reverse engineering and that's how the planner was designed, right? So you do your quarters and then we go monthly and then we go weekly and then we go daily. So that's how I would say that you um, should approach um, starting to use the planner. Start with your quarter. So um, AC has a comment here. She says, I absolutely love my planner and I am excited to start using it. But when I heard you would be interviewing, well, when she heard I would be interviewing you, she decided to hold up 
And she would like to know her views on the best method and time frames for usage. But I think I'll leave, I just have about two or three things to ask again. And I think we will do a deep dive to respond to AC's question, which I think will really be helpful for a lot of persons breaking it down for them step by step. Um, So in terms of the, the planner, how long did it take when, like, when was the moment when you, I know you said you've had the idea for a while, but when was actually the first, like, if you could remember the year when you actually had the idea? And then, um, back in 2018, I had that idea. Um, yeah, that's when I tried to do it myself, but <laughs> it didn't turn out right. Not at all. And it was on the shelf um, until um 2020 I had actually bought a financial planner and you know I said you know what like why don't I have my own planner and the way things are going now in the world you I always wanted a a physical product I think in 2018 2017 I dabbled in like doing t-shirts and doing you know mugs and stuff like that but I really wanted something that would be useful um, and really needed in a time for my um, audience. And I had grown a lot. So I said, you know what, um, 2020, I think it was in March, April. So it would have been May, April, April, April. I brought back the idea and I went all in, like all in. You know, and that's what I I would say that to others as well. Like, if you want to do something, like, don't go halfway, don't go quarter way. Like, if you say you want to do something, you go all in. That is when doors begin to open. That's when the thing that you are not sure about, you go and you find out and you become knowledgeable. And when you don't know something, then it's a big difference when you know something. So it's all a learning process. So I say, you know, go all in um, with your idea. I went all in and never looked back. And yeah, we see the results of that today. Were there any moments when you were working on it last year when you were just like, like just at your wit end, like just exhausted with the process, like, oh my gosh, it's so taking so long it's so hard there's so many things that are not going to plan because of 2020 craziness yeah definitely um first of all I didn't know how I was going to pay for all of the production of of these planners um and I said you know what I'm going to take this step by step and that's just what I said the doors begin to open so Working with Cassia, you know, she she had her fee. I said, okay, I'm going to pay to get this design done because, I mean, that's the foundation, right? If I don't have a design, then what am I already doing? So I was able to do that. And then the next step, like after design is, okay, um, you know, you have to start um, thinking about bringing this thing into production, um, testing the idea. So I went into you know, my groups spoke to the women, just, you know, asking questions. They may not, they would not have known what, why I was asking those questions, but I was doing my um, market research. And I used all of that to help with the design as well as, um, you know, the, the research. And finding the printer to print this, it was, um, I wouldn't say it was a challenge because I have a procurement background, so I know how to source certain things. I know how to find certain things. Um, So I went through that process of finding the printer that I wanted, doing that research. When that was done, it was now the time to say, okay, I'm ready to produce this thing. So now you have to find the funds to produced the print um which I did not have and you know it's, it's just it's just so amazing it always amazes me when you you know have that faith and you keep moving how doors open and it was just like out of the blue I mean most of you know that I do have a day job and 
with that comes gratuities. And so the gratuity came like at the exact, now I had so many plans for my gratuity. Yes, I was gonna travel and save it and do all of that. But it came just at the time when I needed to make a decision because the printer was like, okay, what are we starting printing? I have it here for you, <laughs> you know? And it came like just in the nick of time. And that's how I was able to push things um, forward. And, and I would say that it was not a small investment. It was probably the biggest investment of my um, personal career. Um, so yeah, so that is how, how all of this came about. So it's a process. Yeah. So I am going to, yeah, okay, so before I go into AC's question, which is the nitty gritty and the details, what, in your words, what would this planner do for mompreneurs? I, this planner helps mompreneurs to plan their eventful life, right? Uh, moms already have so many things that they have to do. Their life is very eventful. And this planner helps them to you know, lay all of that like brain dump here to structure it and to say, okay, um, I will have some order in my life and that is what will help me to be more successful. That is what will help me to be this ultimate mompreneur. So that is what this planner does for them. I feel like that brings a level of peace of mind when you have, feel like you have certain things in order. Yes. Yes. Um, so to go through it now, because I see that there are several sections to the planner and maybe you can kind of, maybe that will kind of dovetail nicely in terms of the explanation for AC when you go through the sections as well of the planner. Um, so she was asking, what is the best method and time frames for usage? I'm not exactly sure what she means by time frames for usage, but maybe maybe that's because I don't have a planner, so it's not clicking for me. Right. But maybe for you, you kind of understand exactly what she means. Yes. Yeah, so this um, planner, you can use it for 12 months. You can also use it for longer than 12 months because it is undated. Um, just as I said, mompreneurs like, uh, you know, it's, quite eventful. So as much as we would like to come to it every day, use it every day, it just may not be like possible, right? So the planner is undated, which means that you can always pick up where you left off, right? There's also um, 12 tabs in here. So there are 12 tabs, one for each month that you, if you are consistent with it, you can use it for, an, for the entire year. In terms of doing the actual planning, I would suggest that you have a weekly planning session with yourself where you list out all of the things that you, um, you know, have intended to do for that week. You do a brain dump and, um, you know, you list and then you go back to your personal calendar just to make sure that you have things written in there that you don't um, that you forgot about, right? Because you don't want to have things missing. So I would suggest like on a Sunday, you come, you take your section for the week. So let's say, <clears throat> this is my weekly planner here. I'm not sure if you see it right. So yeah. this is the week off and you put the week off. So let's say Sunday is uh, tomorrow is the 17th, the week of the 17th. January. So you go Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Well, if you want to pre-plan for the next day, right? So you go Monday. Well, you start with a Sunday. So Sunday, okay, this is what I'm going to do today. You start planning. Monday, you write Tuesday, Wednesday, right? And you fill in as the need arises. So you start here. This is your first page that you go to every week to say, okay, you get an overview of what you have to get done um, that week, right? Next to that is also the month at a glance. So you can also see, 
you know, what you have going on um, that month as well, right? So this will also help you at all times you, you know, have in your mind, you know what you are about, right? So I would say start with that um, weekly planner. So I have like four, probably yeah, four different weekly planners in here. So four weeks in each month, right? Um, I also have space for your journaling, right? So I separate this in terms of my life journal and my business journal, right? Because they are, you know, daily, there are things that you, you know, want to get out of your mind journaling, you know, is a whole process of really helping you to clear that mental space and to get your feelings out there. And I always used, love to journal positively. I also, for my life as well as for my business. So I have space in here um, that you can do that as well. And as well, a couple notes pages after that, that you can write whatever notes you have. Um, going on. So there's lots of space, right? And this is all just, um, you know, in the space, in the space of a week. So you have lots of space to get things out and done. Um, in addition to this weekly planning and the monthly, I also have the quarterly. So as business owners, quarters are very important planning for them. And in terms of your content, in terms of your social media, right? You can go here and plan your quarterly. Let me see. <clears throat> I have spaces each quarter. So your content, I have a whole con where you can plan your content right. for the entire quarter. I also have all your projects. So you plan your projects for each quarter. <clears throat> then I have, right, also your priorities for the quarter. So you are always on track. Um, on what you have to do. So that's why I say you plan your eventful life and here you put it in order and then things would not seem as crazy as, you know, it can see you sometimes. So with the book, do you also have spaces in there? Well, it might not be named as such, but was the idea that if you have like your children's um, activity dates as well you plug those in as well right so those that will all go in your weekly planner right, right. so it will, everything that you have to do that week um especially those dates would be in there now for the things that are recurring i would suggest um i know that you would get yourself into a routine but i would suggest using your backup which is your google calendar um, that actually gives you the alerts on your phone because you will not always have this you know planner with you you may not always be able to just pull it and see where where what's happening today um if you are out so for those activities like for the children and stuff i would say use your google calendar for that so that way it doesn't clog this up with you know repetitive um tasks um you know for your week and your month so you know for stuff like that i would say use your google calendar so i intentionally did not put those pages in here because you want to be able to feel you know <clears throat> that you are not your agenda is not as clustered um, you want to have a free flow. Um, I also wanted to make sure that, you know, when you um, come here that you are, you know, much more, um, much more organized. I'm not saying that children's agendas, um, you know, can't go in here, but I would say to try to use the Google Calendar for that part. 